Now let's try simplifying some radicals that are a little more difficult. Okay, so we have 2 root 7 over 3 root 6. So again, we're not allowed to have radicals in the denominator, so we're just going to multiply by root 6 over root 6. So that'll solve our problem there. Okay, so again, 2 will stay the way it is, and then the root 7 times the root 6 is just going to be root 42. And then the 3 stays the way it is, and then the square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is 6. Perfect. And then the numerator is going to stay the same, 2 root 42. And then 3 times 6 is 18. So you may think you're done, but remember you got to check to see if anything can divide out. So obviously 2 over, this, uh, over 18 can be simplified, okay? Um, they are both divisible by 2. So if we divide this by 2, we get 1. If we divide this by 2, we get 9. So that will bring us to 1 times the square root of 42 is just the square root of 42 over uh, 9. Perfect. Now, you might be wondering, well, I didn't look at the 42. Well, I actually knew that it wasn't going to be able to be simplified. So if you want to see, you can just check by doing 42, do the prime factorization of 42. So it's going to be 2 times 21, and then 21 is 3 and 7. And as you can see, there are no pairs. And in order for it to be simplified, there are no pairs. Um, I, in order for it to be simplified, sorry, there must be pairs. And there are none here. So I kind of knew that going forward because I knew when I was multiplying, let me show you in red just so you can kind of see this because it's kind of cool. I knew when I was multiplying square root of 7 times square root of 6 that those numbers were relatively prime, okay? So 7, its only factors are 1 in itself, and 6, it's 2 and 3 and 1 and for the prime factorization. Um, and so they have no factors in common. So as a result, I wasn't going to get any pairs. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of see that coming so you don't have to do the extra work of factoring it. Um, but if you want to factor it, just to be sure, you go for it. Uh, you have to do what's best for you and what helps you understand it the best. Um, but you could have caught it up here um, knowing that 7 and 6 have no factors in common. They are relatively prime. Okay, so let's try one more. Okay, so how about this one? Um, the square root of 24 over 2 root 10. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to realize that I want to pull out a 1 half. So it's really the square root of 24. We could think of it as 1 root 24. And I'm just merely showing this to illustrate a point so that you can see where I'm coming from when I do this over 2 root 10. So really, there's a 1 half right here. Okay, do you see that? So because it's all multiplication, I can just pull out the 1 half and then do times root 24 over root 10. Okay? Now I'm going to do that so I can more easily see this piece right here. Okay? Now, so I'm going to come up here. Okay? So now I've got the 1 half out front and times, and remember that property that allowed us to change it from root 24 over root 10 to just simply root um, 24 over 10? Yeah, so we're going to apply that because then I think we should simplify this. So it's going to be 1 half times, now the square root of now, 24 over 10, they're both divisible by 2, so that would go to a 12, and that would go to a 5, okay? So it's going to be 12 over 5, okay? I should do an equal sign here. And then we're going to change that to be square root of 12 over square root of 5, okay? And then we're not allowed to have radicals in the denominator, so we're going to need to multiply by the square root of 5, over the square root of 5, and that will give us um, 1 half times square root of 60 over 5, okay? So then what I'm going to do at this point um, is, I'm going to come up here. So then I'm going to show you that this ends up being, we can multiply across, so 1 times the square root of 60 is just root 60, and then 2 times 5 is 10. 
Then I want to simplify out the um, root 60. So that can be rewritten as 2 root 15. Okay, and then that's over 10. And then check one more time, make sure nothing can divide out, and look 2 and 10, they have a common factor of 2, so I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. And this goes to a 1, that goes to a 5. So I end up with, oh, I keep forgetting my equal signs here. So I end up with root 15 over 5. And that's going to be your answer right there.